In this video, I'll be building the high grade Universal Sentry RX 79BD 2 Blue Destiny Unit 2. Quick shout out to Karen from Fats Comics for the Gundam kit. They are another local comic shop in Brisbane. If you have a comic itch, feel free to check them out at 462A Ipswich Road, Annerley. They always hold a large selection of keys and back issues for all comic ages, including golden, silver, bronze, copper, and current. And they happen to have some Gundam kits in store. I'm kind of late on this video. I did film this three weeks ago, but I recently only got to scripting and editing. I wonder why it took me this long. Right, the store moved. And we'll do a tour video when everything is ready. So let's jump right into the Gunpla kit. The instruction booklet that comes with the kit is pretty extensive. On one side, it gives a preview of the assembled kit, color guides, specs and lore of the Gundam, but I can't read Japanese, so it goes past my head. And on the other side are the actual instructions on assembling the kit. First we start with the shoulder joint, cut out PCA and D19, clean up the pieces with a flush cutter and connect them together. And since there is a times 2 I need to repeat this step. Then I cut out A21, clean up the part with flush cutters and a molar remover and follow that up with a polish. Cut out PCK, combine all the pieces together and assembly 1 is done. To avoid dragging out this video too long, I'll skip the cutting and cleaning because it does tend to get really repetitive. Back to the assembly. Insert PCD into C15 and cover that up with C14. Combine the waste with assembly 1, then finish the assembly with A22. Join B19 to the torso, then C11 and C10 to the chest. And to finish assembly 3, the instructions suggest that I add stickers. But I'm not gonna because I'm going to paint the kit and the stickers tend to peel off. Combine A20 and A23 together, followed by C4 and C5. Connect the sub-assembly to the back of the torso. Insert A8 into B31 and cover it up with B30. Join A7 over A12, then connect that to B32. Followed by finishing the head assembly. Insert C22 into A4, followed by C21, and cover up with A5. Finish up with inserting C23 onto the barrel. Join C2 and C3 onto E1. Insert PCI into the shield, and cover up with C1. Flip the shield around, and insert D18 into the back of the shield. Insert PCE into E7 and cover up with E9. Place the sub-assembly into E4, then slot B29 in between E3 and E4. Insert D12 and D13 into B2 and cover it up with B3. Then insert PCH into B27, followed by the sub-assembly. Finish the assembly with B25. Slot E2 in between the shoulder and forearm assembly. Since the design is symmetrical, the assembly for the left arm is the same, except for the hand, which will need to combine C16, C17, and E11 together. Combine E11 and C7 together, place the beam rifle on the hand, and cover up with C6. Then connect the hand to the right arm, Join the right arm to the torso, followed by the left arm, and finally, attach the head to the torso. Insert PCM into D8, cover it up with D9, insert PCM into D10, cover up with D11. Connect A9 and A10 together. Join the subassembly with the ankle joint, cover it up with B16, then connect A11 and repeat the process for the other feet. Insert D2 and D1 into D4 and cover it up with D6. Insert PCB and the sub-assembly in between E14 and E12. 
join C9 and B22 together, place PCC and the thigh into the subassembly and cover up with B20. Join B24 and place B7 onto the side. Flip the leg around and insert B5. Insert B11 into B9. Join C19 onto C17. Attach B14 onto the foot and cover up with B12. Join subassembly 20 onto the leg followed by the thrusters, then connect the feet to the leg. Rinse and repeat for the left leg. Combine D20 and D16, insert two PCN into A2, then join the previous subassembly together. Attach A6 to A19, fit A3 into the subassembly and connect it to the hip piece, then finish the assembly with D15. Connect B18 and A1 together and make another for the opposite side. Attach the subassembly to the hip, followed by the legs. Combine the top with the bottom. Insert four C18s into A14. Cover up with A13. Join A15 and A17 together. Then connect that to the backpack unit. And repeat for the opposite side. Then connect two C20s to the bottom of the backpack. Attach the backpack unit to the Gundam. Slot D17 onto the shield and insert the subassembly onto the arm. To hold the beam saber in the right hand, assembly is required. Join C12 and C13 together and we'll need to reuse E11 from the trigger hand. And for the beam saber, Combine E16 with SB61. Repeat this step for the second beam saber. This isn't part of the assembly, but there is weapon storage for the beam saber in the leg. And for more posability options, I recommend you cut the skirt armor so they can move independently. I prepare my parts for painting, prime everything white, then I do a pre-shape with black just to give the model kit a nice gradient. Just to help me keep track of everything, I paint each part by sub-assembly. I disassemble the feet into parts, I paint it all blue, then I mask out the parts I want white and give that a white base. As you can see, my masking job wasn't perfect, so I had to touch up the blue. Apply a matte varnish, then I assemble everything back together. At this point, I can see the paint starting to chip, and I'm having some doubts with the type of paint I'm using. Since I'm using Vallejo Model Color and Citadel, it just doesn't have the right properties for Gunplug kits. And if I want to do more model kit painting in the future, I will just need to invest into Vallejo Mecha Color, Tamiya, and Mr. Hobby. But at this very moment, I will just need to soldier on. Similar process for the leg, I start with a disassembly. I separate my base color out, white, grey, blue. I mask out a section of the knee armor and give it a yellow airbrush for a nice even coat. Then I paint in the grey detail with a brush, peel off the masking tape, and give it a matte varnish. Then reassemble the entire leg. For the hip assembly, I start by basing blue, then white for the skirt armor detail, red for the top of the crotch armor, mask out the sections which I need to be grey, and touch up with a brush. Apply matte varnish, and reassemble the hip unit. And while I'm at it, attach the legs. Blue for the base of the torso and the backpack unit. Grey for the chest and Vulcan guns, waist, thrusters and vents. White for the armor plate. I spray grey onto the neck area for a more dynamic shift in color. Mask out the sections and paint it white. I kind of lost the grey on the vents, so I add it back in. And to clean up, I spray white from an angle that will ignore the grey. Then I add yellow, remove the masking tape, touch up the blue and yellow with a brush, and 
paint and the chest detail grey. Matte varnish for all the parts, reassemble the torso, and attach all the parts together. White primer for the elbow joint, grey for the hands, blue for the rest of the arm, and add a matte varnish to seal in the paint. Reassemble the arm and connect it to the torso. I'm sounding like a broken record now, but yeah, I do the same thing for the other arm. Attach the arm to the body, and I'm getting some Megas XLR vibes. the fine first gear in your giant robot car you dig giant robots i dig giant robots we dig giant robots yes dig giant robots nice now for the head i start with yellow for the v fin Red for the forehead armor and face detail, blue for the head, followed by a matte varnish. I was going to paint the eyes and cameras fluoro green, but the amount of masking required would have been a pain. So I'm gonna resort to using stickers. Forgive me. Reassemble the head and stick it onto the body to complete the Gundam. Now for the beam rifle. Gray for the trigger hand, foregrip and barrel, blue for the rifle housing matte varnish. Stickers for the camera. Finally, reassemble the beam rifle. The colors didn't blend quite right between the halves of the rifle, so I touch up the blue with an airbrush. Mask the beam saber and paint the handle blue. Remove the masking tape, clean up the ill spill with ISO and a cotton bud. Base the shield blue, grey for the detailing, matte varnish. Apply the Unit 2 decal onto the Gundam, Reassemble the shield and the beam saber. I think it looks really good. The use of a pre-shape really adds to the dynamics of the colors and makes it look much better than the bare plastic alone. But the paint got damaged during reassembly and over time, posing the gun kit wears out the paint on the joints. And as stated before in the video, I just need to get the right paint to avoid the problem in the future. But won't all this be alleviated if you just glued the kit into a single pose? Listen here you little poo poo head, the point of a Gunpla kit is to be able to do poses. But overall, this has been a great learning experience. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.